The building was built in 1929. It's a poured in place concrete building, so it's incredibly strong structurally. The building is 36,000 square feet. It was designed by Clarence Jones, one of the period architects of the 20s around the country. And so I came along and got the building in 99 and then started a very slow, methodical rehabilitation process. To me, it was obvious that the next great growth area would be the South Side. Now, you know, in Chattanooga, South Side's on fire, and this is at the crossroads. The concept was kind of a community within a community. The building had a gymnasium. One end, you've got a stage complete with footlights. If you get up in the, on the viewing platform and look down, it's a basketball court. The rooms upstairs, there are 58 of them. Every room had 110 outlet. Every room had 110 overhead light. And then every room had a button to call downstairs if you needed help. So through the walls of this building, there are 58 chases that come all the way down to the front desk. You can hardwire fiber optics very easily without having to go through the walls. So you've got these magnificent rooms with these incredible, these, these beams that are unbelievable. The patio area upstairs is arguably one of the neatest features of the whole place. Uh, you come out of the rooms uh, on, on three, you've got this view of Lookout Mountain. Uh, again, that area is clean, safe, and dry, and uh, I hope that whoever gets the building will make it available to the residents or the users of the building, because it'd be just a very cool place to sit and have a cup of coffee and, and, and watch the day go by. The, the building's got ample parking, not counting on street. Either 11 or 13 parking spaces to the north, and then there's like 51 out behind the building. Depending on the end use of the building, it's probably somewhere between 60 and 90 percent rehabbed. All the hard work I feel like has been done in terms of the rehab work that I've done. I redid all the roof, I did all the roof that was bad, put in a sprinkler system throughout. The electrical is probably 90% done, the building's got 400 amps of service. The plumbing is probably 90% done. We did everything necessary for historical structure designation. It very much has been a labor of love. It's a very, very special part of Chattanooga and I think properly done and properly carried forward from this point, it can be a real focal point and magnet for the South Side. Hopefully somebody will take the building that's got some real passion for Chattanooga and that life will come back into this building again because the building deserves it, South Side deserves it, Chattanooga deserves it.